Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. And today I want to talk to you guys about making coins from SBCs, but it's not in the way that you th might think from what I just said. We're not talking about how to make coins from actually doing SBCs. We're talking about how to make coins based on SBCs that come out and the market movements that they cause. There's been these types of SBCs that EA has been dropping this year, very cheap, uh, SBCs like this Born Legends SBC, one that was called the um, Strong Start SBC, Volta Football SBC as well. These cheap SBCs that cost less than 20,000 coins to complete, they give you uh, a pack or a couple packs back. Uh, we had like that, that Volta Football SBC last week was, it cost you like 6,000 coins to get a 35k pack. Uh, that's going to create some market movements. And I want to talk through those things because right now at this point on the market, the market itself, yes, there's stuff that fluctuates, yes, there's stuff that rises, but EA is doing a very good job on this market right now of actually making it go down and be very inconsistent according to what we've looked at in years past. In years past, we've seen everything start low and gradually work its way up into the month of October, but EA this year has been making that the opposite because of these SBCs. As you can see here, this is a graph of the FIFA Ultimate Team Market since the game has come out, September 23rd, back here in September. Um, technically, like the lowest point that we've ever had in this game was during the EA Access, the day before early access, during EA Access and Web App period. That was literally the highest point of the market on this game. And just this past weekend on Saturday and Sunday, we had the very lowest point on the game in terms of this index gold market, in terms of gold cards at least. We've basically hit the lowest point on the market in terms of gold cards, which is interesting to say the least. But I want to talk about why you see some of these dips in here. Some of these big dips, man, they're, they're crazy. And of course, like this Wednesday, Thursday dip, and then of course the Friday dip as well. I want to talk about that and those SBCs. So the first thing that I want to show you guys is we're going to do a little bit of a video inception here. This is my video from earlier this week on October 10th. So what was it? Four days ago? Five days ago? Um... This is the index gold market. Remember back here when I showed you, this is on Thursday. This is on Thursday when this SBC dropped. I believe it was the Born Legends SBC that dropped on Thursday at 6 p.m. UK. It was either this SBC or like the Volta Football one that dropped at that time frame. And it made the market go crazy because again, it was a cheap pack and it gave, it was a cheap SBC that gave out a quality pack in return. You can see here the market is 91 points. And I think it dipped all the way down here to like low 80s. Um, and that was basically what happened on this Thursday right here. This Thursday is obviously just a the, an average of the entire um, graph on the daytime. If you really want to get a good uh, knowledge of where the market was, you look at the live graph and it shows you where that was for the day. But look at this drop off. This is what has been happening. EA has done this to us basically three times in the past week and a half with these SBCs. Uh, they give out good packs and basically what it does is it puts a bunch of supply on the market and it creates a great opportunity to flip cards. This is one of the ways that we can look at the market now and if we see an SBC come out um, in if we see an SBC come out in the game now that is uh, you know something that is cheap to complete but gives out decent packs people are suckers for SBCs man that is what I mean I'm sure you guys have learned that over the years but it is very, very obvious that people are suckers for SBCs. People want to open packs. They want to take their chance, especially early in the game when you give them a cheap SBC like that and allow them to possibly get two, three, four packs from it and take their chances of packing a player. Um, that's huge. So this Born Legends SBC costs you 22 k but the packs that you get in return are worth a decent amount more than that. So a lot of people are like, yo, I'll spend 20 k to get four packs. Why not? I'll spend 16 k to do marquee matchups. Why not? Some of the other SBCs as well that have come out that have been very cheap, like that Volta Football one, it just creates market movements like this where you can buy um, in the panic sell, which usually takes, so right here you see the market at 91 points at 1756, 1757. So this is basically at 6 p.m. UK when the content drops on FIFA. And it, usually, and it looks like it took about two hours. So this is, t um, this is 8 p.m. UK right here, this line on the screen right here where it hits its absolute lowest. It takes about two hours to hit that absolute low point where you get some of the relistings and some of the bids 
right in that time frame, and then it starts to rebound back up. Most of the cards, some cards rebound quicker, higher rated cards rebound quicker, and stuff like that. But there's plenty of ways to make coins from market movements like this, and that's what I want to talk about. So going back to the index gold, this is one of my favorite pages on Footbin to look at because of this down here at the bottom right here. Top up and top down. This gives you a percentage rating on how low cards are at the exact moment when you're looking at them. Um, Titty right now is 63,000 coins. I know for a fact that I saw this card today at 65K. Last night during uh, Squad Battle Rewards, I saw him for under 60K. But let's look and see what happened to his price today. Yes, he was just, oh dude, he was just like 70K almost in the middle of the day today and he's already, he's dropped off. Uh, you know, four or five thousand coins. That could maybe be an overnight flip into tomorrow. You can see there, even Monday night, he was 60k at one point as well. So these cards do fluctuate a lot, and especially when there's market movements like these SBCs that come out on the game, it presents a great opportunity for us to go out on the market, pick up on the panic selling, and uh, make some coins off of that. Now, what kind of cards do you want to focus on? Well. The cards that you want to focus on are the cards that people are going to buy with the coins that they got from these SBCs. So basically what these SBCs do is yes, they put cards out on the market, but it also allows the market to go up because people, um, that's why you see that rebound. People get coins from opening these packs and they go out and they upgrade their teams. Lucas Hernandez right here, 60,000 coins. Uh, that's a card that a lot of people would look to buy for their team. A guy like Rashford, who is semi-low rated, he's an 83 rated, but he seems to have really low pack weight. This is the kind of guy that you would see um, be a very good pickup during an SBC time uh, on the market. When an SBC comes out that is, you get some packs for very cheap or one pack for very cheap, this guy is going to get packed a decent amount for an 83 rated, but he's also going to have a lot of demand. There's a lot of people that want this card in their team. He's 83 rated, um, so he's going to get packed in a decent amount. But he's 70K. He's one of the best strikers in the Prem. And he's kind of one of those players that people are now able to upgrade to as they get more coins in this game. Because, again, like I mentioned, when EA drops those SBCs, it allows people to pack cards and quick sell cards that don't actually sell. Or maybe sell a card like, hey, maybe you pack uh, Furlan Mendy. There's 40K. You know, maybe you already have 50K. Boom. You can go buy yourself a Rashford. So, those SBCs allow people to go out and buy cards and upgrade their team. So in those time frames when you see the market dropping and you're wanting to know, yo, who who do I buy in this time period? Focus on some of the lower rated players that are still very, very meta. This Frankie de Young, an 85 rated card. Last night during squad battle rewards, uh, he was down at 80,000 coins. He was like at 90K all weekend. And right now he's at 85K. I picked a couple of them up last night on bid actually, I think for under 80K. Um, with I think one of them had a chem style as well. So there's plenty of opportunities to mess around with cards. Yeah, right here, these two guys. Got one at 71K and another one at 82. Um, so that one's got an engine chem style, might be a little bit more desirable. But um, that's the kind of stuff that you can do when those SBCs come out onto the market because it just it's such a sharp drop and it just is supplying the market with a lot of packs, but also with a lot of coins. And if you want an easy and quick list to kind of look at to see where to go and buy these cards, you can use this page right here, Index Gold. It will tell you within the first 10 to 15 minutes of that SBC coming out. There's a You can look at this web page or on the mobile app. You can find this page as well. And you can find a lot of cards that have uh, dropped down in price pretty significantly in a short amount of time. And if you want to know, hey, I don't know, I'm not entirely sure which cards are going to rise, what cards are popular, head over to the PGP tab on Footbin, sort by games played, because the people that are being played with the most are going to continue to be the people that uh, users in this game want to get in their teams, the higher rated ones especially, Rashford rebounds all the time, Dembele rebounds all the time, Lucas, Militao, even an 81 rated card, rebounds all the time. Um, Lucas Hernandez, Martial, Wijnaldum, Goretzka, Langley is getting up here a lot in games played. Um, that Another reason why I bought Umtiti was because uh, Barcelona is very popular in this game right now with the De Jong special cards, with Langley being very good in the game, with Varane. That's not, I mean, Varane's French, but he's not Barcelona. Um, and then the Nelson Semedo. Um, 
being in the game as well. Like the the French and the La Liga back lines are very popular right now, so that's why I looked into De Youngs and also Umtiti. If actually, if I see Umtiti at um, if I see him close to around 60k, your boy might have to buy one. Okay, so that that one on Footbin was a little bit of an undercut right there. It said 63k. He's actually 66, so he hasn't dropped that much, just except for uh, what Footbin has caught at maybe a snipe. But that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is, again, you can look at so many cards when EA drops an SBC like this, um, like Lucas Mora, like Sissoko, because people still are trying to get those cards in their teams, and this gives them an opportunity to do that when they pack players. So this one's probably a little bit of a shorter video. It's a little bit more a teaching point of how to do some of this trading, but I know a lot of people are trying to make coins. A lot of people want to trade on this market, and some people have resorted to icon trading. A lot of people have done investing, Thursday flipping, and like, yo, Thursday flipping is not working. Why is that? What's wrong with Thursday flipping? We'll talk about that in a video soon as well. Um, these SBCs are partially what's what's hurting the Thursday flipping because um, last Thursday, stuff was rising so much and so well in the early morning time before 6 p.m. UK, but then EA dropped an SBC, the Volta Football SBC on Thursday, and boom. There was a bunch of pack supply hitting the market and those gold player prices that everybody had invested in went down again because of being in the packs and supplied from packs. So that's why these SBCs can be a very, very good place to invest your coins. And one thing I failed to mention as well would be informs. If, you, if there's a really solid team of the week that is in packs, um, do, when one of these SBCs come out, for example, I remember there was an SBC that came out, I think it might have been the Strong Start SBC that came out when this team of the week was in packs, and Diddy and Mares both dropped like 5% in a flash, uh, but they, they shot up quickly after that because people know the informs are rare, they're very investable, and they're very popular in this game, especially early game. There's not many special cards that people can try out. Um, so informs are a great thing to look at as well in a time period when you see a pack supply come on to the market. And this is something that I think we have to get used to and I wanna kinda of teach you guys about trading with because um, EA seems to be doing this a lot. They've, they've, they've done this, they did it like two days in a row last week, I would assume that it comes again this week. You know, it's probably going to, if they keep dropping smaller packs like this, it's not gonna impact the market as much down the road as people are continuing to get coins and a little pack, like a 35K pack for 10K won't impact the market a ton, but they keep doing this, so it's gonna keep changing the market, and it's gonna impact the market when they drop them, however so much, but right now it's a lot because people are suckers for SBCs, they see a pack in the store, they wanna go get it, and take a chance at possibly packing something sick. So that's what I wanted to mention today about SBCs like this one. Again, you're looking for cheap, if you see an SBC come out, you're like, okay, this SBC gives you a premium Electrum Players Pack, and yeah, that's really cheap. There's no, you have to have 10 gold players. That's a really, really cheap squad. It doesn't require any players from any specific team. That's a big no-no. Um, like this Inter Players one, I had Inter Players in the club, that's why I was able to do it. But those SBCs shoot up right away, and that drains people's coins from their club because people wanna do SBC so bad that they go pay 4K for a Chelsea player or an Inter player which is ridiculous in my mind, but they do because they want the packs. But then everybody's opened those packs within the first hour or two, and it just creates a flooding onto the market, and there's always a rebound after a massive pack supply like that. We see it during lightning rounds, we see it during rewards, and we see it for these SBCs. Big time pack supply. What, what did Foot Economist used to say? Foot Economist used to say that pack openings in isolation push the market up, you know? And it makes sense. And isolation basically means that there's no like super huge um, promo going on. It's If pack openings is the only thing that's happening, the market's going to go up because people are getting coins, they're going out, and they're buying things. So yes, you do have that little bit of a dip in the first couple of hours when everybody opens the packs and lists the stuff up, stuff up on in the market. But then after that, everybody has coins, and they go out and they buy things because when people have coins, they don't know what to do with themselves. Investors go invest, players go upgrade their teams, or try out cards, that's what people do, or do SBCs. So that's the bonus when these SBCs come out. Yes, stuff is dropping and we might lose on a few of our investments because EA could blindside us with an SBC, but 
the market will probably rebound after that as well. So it creates another great opportunity to invest in some cards. So watch out for more SBCs like these ones that EA has been putting out. I've been into the squad builder tab here way too many times during this video to talk about this SBC. But if you see SBCs like this one, and you'll make sure you follow my Twitter as well. That link is down below in the description. I'll be talking about when you see me, when one of these SBCs comes out, you'll see me post something on Twitter about it right away saying, hey, this is a cheap pack supply SBC. Watch the player prices for dips. Focus on s certain players, maybe because of a link to a team of the week or whatever. Um, so stay tuned to my Twitter as well. I'll, I'll definitely tweet those things out to help you guys be on the lookout when um, when those types of SBCs do drop. But hopefully this, guy's, uh, hopefully this video helped you guys understand how those SBCs can impact the market because they can drop the market in one day and make a really nice market rise in the morning destroyed by the evening and by in the afternoon with an SBC like that one. So if this helped you at all, smash a thumbs up on the video, comment down below if you have any questions, and of course subscribe to the channel if you are new. It's been Nate, Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.